Hello everyone. Today we will talk about net income approach, NI approach. It's also known as relevance approach in capital structure theory. It based on some assumptions. There is no corporate X and the cost of debt always be less than cost of equity and the cost of debt and the cost of equity always remain constant. We will explain with the help of example in the spreadsheet. In this question, we have EBIT 20 lakh rupees, cost of equity 10% and the cost of debt 6%. Debt may be 50 lakh, 20 lakh or 80 lakh. In all these three cases, we want to find out the value of firm overall cost of capital using net income approach. So here, debt may be 50 lakhs, 20 lakh and 80 lakhs. So we'll go to data and we use data validation and we take this list, list of C5 to E5 and say OK. So check here, debt may be 50 lakh rupees. Now what is EBIT here? EBIT is 20 lakhs. Interest, interest is 6% of debt amount. And the here debt amount is 50 lakh rupees. So the interest is 3 lakh. To calculate EBT, we say EBIT minus interest. And the answer is 17 lakh. To calculate equity, we use formula EBT divided by K. And the here K is 10%. So the equity value is 1 crore 70 lakh. Debt already we assume here 50 lakh rupees. And the value of firm, the value of firm is equity plus debt. The amount is 2 crore 20 lakh. To calculate overall cost of capital, we use EBIT divided by value of firm. And the answer is 9.09%. So we can see here, when debt amount is 50 lakh, value of firm is 2 crore 20 lakh and Overall cost of capital is 9.9%. So we piece as value. Okay, so we have this answer. Now, if you are going to change this, suppose debt amount is now 20 lakh rupees. So what will happen? The value form become 2 crore 8 lakhs and the overall cost of capital is 9.62%. Again, copy this. Piece here as a value. Check. Loan amount is decreasing. Value of the firm also decreasing. And overall cost of capital is start increasing. Okay. If we take 80 lakh rupees, then what will happen? Wow. If we take 80 lakh, the value of firm start increasing and the overall cost of capital start decreasing. So again, copy this and paste here as a value. Now you can check here, when debt amount is decreasing, the value of firm is decreasing and the overall cost of capital start increasing. On the other side, when the debt amount is increasing, the value of firm will start increasing and overall cost of capital start decreasing. Hope it is helpful. Thank you.